so of a they, sudden. they did announce the launch date, which is the important part of this article. So if you've been wondering, because we, we've been talking about Windows 11 for the last couple of months because they announced it way back at the... Uh, was it Build? Uh, Build conference. There we go. I was trying to remember the name. Hmm. Uh, but they hadn't told us exactly when we were going to get it. Well, that word has now dropped. It is going to be October 5th. Which answers my question from earlier, where I was saying, wow, September 5th, that's a weird date. It's a Sunday. Uh, and, <laughs> yeah. and it's September. Microsoft normally does launch in October, but it is going to be October 5th. Now i got to look at what day of the week that is. That is a Tuesday. That makes a lot oh, more sense. Uh, yeah. Like Patch Tuesday. Will it get patches that day? Well, so <laughs> That'd be great. So what will happen is, uh, you know, you normally do your Windows update and the big Patch yeah. Tuesday where they push things. That's the day that Windows 11 will become available as an upgrade to existing Windows 10 clients. Oh. And so if you are set for automatic updates and you're set for major updates, right? Because that is something you can disable. But if it is on, then likely that Wednesday when you wake up in the morning, you'll turn on your computer and there will be a message on your screen saying your computer is ready for Windows 11. Do you want to do it? And like it's already downloaded and ready to rock at that point. You just click the install button and go. If you're ready to take that plunge, so, and so you can say 5th. no. You can you can say no at that. No, point. You, you can say, say no. no. Eventually, I'm sure it will be. Well, so what they did with Windows 10, if we remember right, because they did the same thing. Right, you you had Windows 7, option, yeah. and they said if you do the upgrade now, free. it's free, but only for a little while. Eventually, it won't be free. It's right? still free. It's still free. Yeah, so so you know, it's been. How many years now? Nine years? Uh, it's been a hot <laughs> minute. To it. yeah. It's been a long time since Windows 10 came out, and, and it's still free. But that's likely what they'll do with Windows 11. They're already saying that, like, don't don't hesitate to buy a computer right now. It'll be a free upgrade to Windows 11 mm. for a while. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Yeah, because I feel like with, with the Mac, it doesn't uh, download the update until I say, yes, give me Big Sur or give me High Sierra or whatever. It then goes and downloads. Yeah, in, in this case, it... It will, assuming you have the hard drive space for it, it will mm. download if your computer is supported. I guess that's something worth mentioning, too, and, and kind of ties into our next article, which is not everybody is going to get the update message because Microsoft put some much more strict requirements on doing the deployment. So, for example, if you want to do the automatic upgrade, you need to have a Intel, well, if you have an Intel processor, it needs to be Generation 7 or newer, and they've got some limits around AMDs as well. Well, what if you have like a sixth generation Intel? Well, that's mm. that's still a, a viable processor, works just fine, but they will not do an automatic upgrade on that. So Microsoft did announce that if you have unsupported hardware, you're not completely out of luck. It just won't automatically upgrade through Windows Update. You'll have to download the ISO image and either make a, I was about to say make a DVD. Nobody does that anymore, but make <laughs> a USB yeah, installer. Yeah. Don's yeah. got DVD stacked up on his desk. That's and great. so you can use the, the Windows installation media tool and it'll help you build a USB key and you can upgrade that way or do a clean install if you want. So they did uh, they did back off of that a little bit. Yeah, this one's coming to us from tomshardware.com uh, where the headline is Microsoft will let enthusiasts install Windows 11 on non-compliant PC, this report says. And that, that sounds a little complicated for People and it's funny because the people that this would affect are the people with older machines that maybe aren't as tech savvy. So it's yeah, kind of interesting. Well, you know, if you think about like when Generation Seven Intel processors came out, and I should have looked that up, but like uh, last year they were selling Generation Nine. We're on Generation Ten, Eleven, and Twelve are roadmapped. I think they're actually about to start selling Eleven. So Generation Seven, that's Five two or three ago, years, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe four five, years, probably yeah. three years ago. Okay. Uh, so if you've got a computer that's old than that, it might not meet what they require. And it's because of some of the new security features and other things that Microsoft's implementing. They're relying on some of the features found in those processors. So my Core 2 Duo, not going to cut it. Yeah, no. no it <laughs> Are you talking about like the i7s? Yeah. Not, not i7, it's seventh generation. So it's oh, okay. the generation of the uh, Intel processors. I got you. Because so, I was looking at i7s going, those came out in, in 20. Ten. When you when you look at an Intel processor's model number, well, it'll either be three right. or four digits, right? And so, like, uh, mine at home is a 9900, so I have a, an i9. Uh, it's made in 99. But the <laughs> the first nine means that it's a ninth generation. I see. So that And right now, if you buy one, oh, I guess it would actually be, would it be five digits? Because you'd get, like, an 11 or a, a 10 900 is what replaced mine. So that'd be five yeah. digits, yeah. So if you look at yours, and actually, here, let's, let's see what my laptop is now. I'm curious. I don't actually know what my laptop has in it. I know, like you said, Daniel, I know I have an i7, but which one do I have? I got a nifty sticker right here. It tells me mine's a 10th gen. 
<laughs> Mine's an 8650, so I have an 8th gen in my laptop. Well, there you go. So I can I can upgrade to Windows 11. Woo-hoo. You have uh, where, where do I see that? Let's see. Oh, you're on a Mac, right? Oh, so yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. I, I, want, I want Windows, too. It seems yeah. really exciting. Uh, Wait, you, you got a new laptop, right? Isn't, I do. Uh, that's you a, do. That's right. Yours is an M1, so you don't no, get it at not. all. You it's not. You one. No, it is a uh, 2.6 6 gigahertz, 6-core Intel uh, ah. Core i7. Well, yours has already had a date, then. Yeah. It's not an M1. Might as well I, that I assume trash. that it was bought on sale yeah. by, uh, <laughs> we, by We wrestled company. it away from some... Old lady that didn't <laughs> some know. Child that <laughs> yeah. Really no, I actually signed the purchase order on that one. So uh, <laughs> if you if you want more than sixteen gigs of RAM right now, you, they don't sell M ones that way. So you've got to go yeah. and get the Intel one, which they still sell. How much RAM have you got in that thing? Thirty two. Oh, Should I be thirty two. Yeah, because I do. You know, some for video. the editing, editing and stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. This is all the tabs he has open in Chrome. Yeah. Memory sixteen hey, gigs. I'm not gonna lie. Sixteen gigs of memory. Oh, you do have sixteen. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Where's my M1? What a loser! Yeah, yeah where's your M1? <laughs> Putting in a support ticket. Yeah, we buy these junk. things, man. I don't know. Might as well just throw it anymore. on the ground and stomp on it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, <laughs> one more article about Windows 11 before we move on uh, over from bleepingcomputer.com. Western Digital. No, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it at all. I clicked away. <laughs> Still in Tom's Hardware. Done. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, Tom's Hardware. Yeah, we're staying there. Uh, Microsoft will disable updates on unsupported <laughs> Windows 11 installs. Is that? That's not <laughs> that, it either. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. That so, sounds a lot like the other article. Do you remember the TV show Joe Schmo? Yes. yes, the you know, the fake uh, reality great. show, and uh, and they had the Falcon Twist, right? So there'd be a challenge, and they would tell you the challenge. It wouldn't sound so bad, like you have to eat these pies. And then there was the the Falcon Twist. You had to eat the pie with a straw, you know, or something crazy like that. Well, Microsoft did that with these updates. They said, oh, if you have unsupported hardware, don't worry, you can actually install Windows 11. And then they threw out the Falcon Twist, which yeah. was which they should really call it that, but they, they really don't. should. Um, I like that. They threw out the twist, which was hey. Oh, if you do that, it'll work, but we might not let you use Windows Update anymore. <laughs> so, that sounds like a feature. So it's going to be on... horribly insecure, like the moment after you. Yeah, do this. yeah. I mean, based on our YouTube comments, that sounds like a feature to a lot of people that are that hate Windows updates, even though they don't understand how that keeps how them it's secure. So important. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So it's uh, it's still. Uh, if you have supported hardware, obviously the hardware manufacturers these days, like Apple and even the software in the case of Microsoft, they they want you to upgrade by buying a new computer. Yeah. And what's a new computer cost? These days? Is that why that one article that we just looked at had like a bunch of? And now's the best time to actually buy a new computer, and then it listed like all these different manufacturers and their laptops. Well, we have that, yeah. yeah. And we saw that Russian computer a week ago or two weeks ago. I bought three of those. Get a good yeah. deal on it. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. I think love them. There's no that, malware yeah. on them at all. So just know that uh, we are basically a month away from Windows 11 dropping, and many of you will have support for it right away. You can jump on that bandwagon if you want, or many of you may not be able to run it, so just be aware. Yeah, that that October launch date makes a lot more sense, because I was like, why would you drop it in between Kanye's album and Drake's album? Good point. And yeah. do I have to disable updates on my Linux Mint to keep it from updating? <laughs> yeah, because Microsoft's actually got that worked out okay, now. Geez. And uh <laughs> Yeah, you wake up on Monday and you're like, "It's all Windows." How did 11. you do this? Yeah. What has happened? Edge here? is my default browser. Oh, right? Son of a! <laughs> Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back. Yeah, and Clippy pops up. <laughs> yeah. I bet you're yeah. wondering where I came yeah. from. Hey, Daniel. You'll never get rid of me. <laughs> If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.